Hey guys, and welcome to my Let's Play uh, Farming Simulator 22 Stone Valley. Um, this is going to have this list of mods right here. The voiceover for this video is probably going to sound like crap uh, because uh, I don't do this kind of thing. Lots of uhs and ums, so... Uh, and I have no script, so just be patient with me. This is my first time uh, doing YouTube, I guess, really, at all. Uh, definitely my first time playing a game for YouTube uh, that I'm recording voiceover for. I just got a nicer microphone, and we're going to try. Now, I'm not going to enable all these mods. Um, I already showed you the mod list, so I'm going to go ahead and select those mods, and I'll be right back. All right, uh, here's our guy. We're going to go with John Deere Green, um, because... I would go with, uh, actually, there is, isn't there? There is. All right, we're going to go with Case, because, you know, Case is better. Hmm, Scarvana. Hmm. Hmm. I think that matches. What do you think? How's Scarvana? No, let's go with Voltra. Yeah. And of course, no okay, case IH does have a hat. All right, here we are in game Stone Valley. Let's see now. One of the things I've added is this uh, lease farmland. So I think we're gonna go with either 19, 23, or 20. Uh, these three right here because I do want to be close to the shop to start out with, uh, seeing as how we don't have a truck or anything like that to haul equipment. Uh, bales get sold up here. Uh, this is North Valley bales. Um, so I would like to be closer to that because we are going to start out by doing silage probably. Um, either that or what are these? These are in corn. Those are all in corn. So they are still growing. So we might actually just wait, uh, until that's harvested. So we don't have to, you know, lease a corn header that we're never going to use. So let's see what the price is on this, uh, 25 here. All right, so our yield potential is not 100%, so that's not great. Okay, 483. What about 34? 405. And it has a high, higher yield potential. Now, it is a little bit smaller. If you notice, this one's 19 acres. This one's 16. Uh, but this has a higher overall yield potential, so we might actually end up getting more, um, more harvest, more yield out of uh, 34 than 25. Now, one thing we are going to do right now uh before i do anything else actually all right why is this one cheaper but has that makes no sense oh because this is john deere because <laughs> it's john deere all right so we will get the mahendra this we need this one this is a soil sampling unit we can take soil samples um for that field so we don't have to pay the crazy amount of money that um, the soil sampler person <laughs> wants if you pay them. We are going to go ahead and lease this because we're not going to need it more than once. Okay, so at this point, I kind of just gave up on recording uh, commentary uh, live <laughs> because uh, it was really hard to think about the game and also record commentary. So um, I was also really stupid and um, I forgot that the soil scout cannot connect to um, a hitch on the back of one of these little 4x4s. So I now have a 4x4 that I purchased that I don't need, um, and I need to get a tractor for the Soil Scout. So for tractors, I was like, well, I'll get this one because it's a medium tractor, so I can use it for other stuff, right? Because I do, uh, at this point, I've decided I want to do uh, normal, you know, a farming. I don't really want to do... Uh, silage because now it's the, probably the thing that gets you the most money when you start a new save um but it's really kind of boring because you're just doing grass uh over and over and over again so i'm like you know what i'll just get a tractor because uh, i did start you know this is a farm manager save not a uh, start from scratch so you've got a little bit more funds than if you were to start a farm manager save so uh you know so i'm like okay well we'll just buy that one field um how it is we will get the harvester because I'm probably going to do wheat, uh, you know, and then uh, we will just lease a corn header and harvest that because, hey, then you get, you know, an extra uh, little bit of money um, from that first harvest of corn. Even though you're never going to do corn again, corn is, you know, it's, it's a product that you can get some money on. So. 
Uh, so then I went ahead and drove this tractor out to the field. Um, and I'm speeding up time at this point uh, because I want, you know, I want the corn to get ready to harvest. Um, now, because, you know, it's not my land, I can't use the soil explorer. But this is pretty interesting. The way this thing works, um, it simulates, I guess, kind of simulates. Uh, you, you go around, you have like a little uh, green circle, and you take a soil sample for that area. Uh, and I went ahead and bought, so this is like, it gives you a little bit of extra space. Uh, around your farm if you're having trouble building um, because you know it, it, and it gives you the roads to find. obviously you're not going to build anything there unless you have to um, you know because if you're being a good person uh, so I just went ahead and bought that um, but I could do this uh, make sure that it worked so I'm buying this combine because it's it's pretty much the cheapest one uh, and we really like case in this family um, and actually this is a combine that uh, we live next to some farmers uh, at, at one point in my life, um, and this is the combine they had, was this exact one, um, the axial, axial flow, now I believe it was a 2006 version, uh, but I went ahead and got the 2008 version, because it has a little bit more power, um, and I did get the standard wheel configuration, because, like, why would you pay, pay for duels, it doesn't really give you any benefit, except for it looks a little bit cool, um, so, uh, and then I like seeing the sides a little bit better, I think it's cool, uh, you get to, you know, see in there uh, all the workings of the separator. So, uh, and then I need a long longer because we're doing corn to start off with. Now, I could probably come back and customize it. Oh, and then GPS. GPS is really important um, because the GPS allows you to um, drive a straight line. So, it's not like an AI working for you, um, but it just gives you a really straight line to follow. So we went ahead and leased the corn header, since we're only going to use it this first time, probably. Um, and we just leased that smaller one. Um, and I'm not going to, obviously I'm not going to roleplay, but I'm going to try my best to do a lot of it from uh, in-cab view. Um, because it just feels a little bit more realistic. And then one other thing I told myself is, uh, if I hit traffic, uh, because the traffic AI is really stupid... I am allowed to turn traffic on and off again just to despawn the car. Like, look at this guy. I, he stopped in front of me. So, yeah. So, you can just turn traffic off and then on again. And we'll despawn the cars, but traffic stays on. So, uh, I told myself that we're allowed to do that. Okay. All right. I make the rules around here. I, I can make my own rules. Um, so, yeah. The, the corn's ready to harvest now because um, I did speed up time. If you notice, it's October now in game. Um, but the only problem is it's about to rain. So, I do have to get the harvest done as fast as possible here for corn and I'm a, I have a little bit of OCD so I was trying to line it up uh, with the rows uh, this is so manual attach one of the things it does is it makes it where you have to attach the PTO and the hoses of different implements so I had forgotten to attach the PTO on the header there yeah so I really like lining up when you see, you know, see the space between the rows it's like oh, it's, you gotta line up perfectly with it uh, of course, I didn't actually do that here because I didn't get that outer row because I'm not smart. Um, yeah, we don't talk about that. Um, and at this point, I haven't tried using GPS because now, even though I've had the mod for quite some time and I've read a lot about, you know, it's, it's the guidance steering mod. Um, I I haven't ever actually used it in game, so uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to use that <laughs> on this save. Here I line myself up a little bit better uh, with the actual rows of corn, so that's good. Uh, now, I'm obviously not going to play the whole thing because it literally, I think it took me about 2 hours and 14 minutes to do the whole thing of real time. Uh, so, uh, I am obviously going to skip through some of that. Um... But it is, I don't know, it's for, this is why I like this game so much, is, is farming, doing, doing the harvesting specifically, uh, it's just so calming, like, I don't know, it's, I really like it, uh, it helps, helps my OCD a lot, um, because it, it, it works how it's supposed to, and it's, it's like, it's good, 
very good, uh, especially if you're driving yourself. Uh, you know, if you have an AI do it, I guess, if you want to get it done faster, but I actually really like hand driving all the equipment. Um, now, obviously, so when we get to planting, I'm probably not going to hand drive the planter, um, but that's just because, you know, that takes forever, and it's not as calming. Uh, so for a trailer, obviously, we need a trailer to load crops in, so uh, I did not get the small trailer. I got the DK, whatever. Uh, now, it does hook up to our little uh, 4x4. Now, I don't know how to say uh, the name of this brand, and I butchered it when I did the, the first little bit there when I was talking about it. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. I don't, I uh, will probably go look up the pronunciation, but I can't be bothered right now. Um, hey, I, you know what? I'm gonna use the excuse. I am a small YouTuber, so it does not matter uh, what my video quality is. <laughs> I don't really care about it that much. Um, now, obviously I, we did skip th forward because um, I have finished, uh, I got a full grain tank on the harvester. Actually, I don't think it's full, but uh, very close to full grain tank on the harvester. Um, so <laughs> this tractor feels a little bit underutilized right now. All he's been doing is uh, running a little soil explorer, but there you go. We got to harvest the corn. Uh, now I think the extension I got on the harvester, it holds, uh, I want to say 12,219 liters. Now I am not a um, uh, metric person. Now I, I like the metric system a lot and I would actually rather use it. But the thing is, uh, I am from America, so I didn't learn the metric system. That's not what I know. Like it's not, you know, what's in my head. So if someone asks me, give a measurement of this, it's not automatically, oh, that's a meter or, oh, that's a centimeter. You know, it's obviously that's inches, feet, whatever, um, because that's what I grew up, you know, learning. So, uh, I would like to use the metric system, but I, I don't really know how to, I imagine it's a lot like a language and you have to speak it to really know, uh, you know, know what it means. Uh, you have to live around people that speak it. Anyway, that's t tangent. Um, so, uh, I obviously believe in bushels, um, more than leaders, uh, for, for this kind of thing. Uh, I know it's a lot. It's a 12,000. It's a lot. 12,000 liters is a lot. Um, now I didn't make as much money as I would have wanted, um, off of corn. Now, obviously this is just one, uh, trailer full. Uh, and I realized that because my harvester holds, uh, 12,000 liters, uh, <laughs> this trailer is too small. And so now I, you know, the value depreciates when you buy it. So now I've lost like a thousand dollars, uh, on a trailer. I'm obviously going to have to buy another one. And I'm just like, well, this sucks. But, um, one mod I have on here is called the Mac grain hauling pack. And it's, they're cheaper because they're like older trucks. Uh, and they're really nice. Um, and they're actually, um, along the same vein of what I said earlier, they are the actual equipment that uh, the farmer I used to live next to had. Um, so he had those, um, and I, believe, I, I buy one in a minute, so you'll see it, but um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, now, AI worker is blocked by an object, which is stupid. I tried to send um, the guy with the trailer to go drop off my corn with an AI worker, and it just didn't work because this map is a mod map, right? Oh. This is me trying to figure out GPS. It takes me a while. I don't get it on the first try. <laughs> so uh, you can't just enable it. You have to set waypoints if you're going A plus B mode. Uh, so you have to set an A, you have to set B, uh, and then it makes a straight line between those two and keeps you on that straight path, right? Here you go, this is that path. Um, but you also have, um, yeah, there you go. Oh, I love the sound that the GPS makes when it engages. It's, it's beautiful. Um, now you also have A plus heading, and I don't find that for a minute. Um, I don't find about out about a plus heading for a minute, but it is so much better because instead of a and you have to set a B uh, You set an a where you're at and then it's a heading from that a point So if you set zero, you know, it's gonna be north on the map So directly up and up and down north, which is what this field is planted, right? This corn is planted up and down north, which is really nice because that means that uh, You know, I can just it'll it'll follow the the it'll make perfectly straight lip rows I don't have to steer but you do still have to put in your uh, you know, obviously throttle inputs, or you could just set the, um, uh, cruise control. So this is that, uh, truck I was telling you about now. Uh, it has quite a bit more, uh, space in the back now, 20 meters cubed. Uh, I'm not sure how many liters that is. I think it would be better if it just told you how many liters instead of like, oh, this much and like switch up the, you know, why does it switch up the, uh, measurements or whatever? I don't know. Uh, Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. It's big enough, is what I mean. Uh, <laughs> so I got the truck, and then it has a trailer you can attach to it, so I got that as well. 
Uh, and now it is raining. That rain that was coming earlier got here, so can't can't harvest right during the rain, um, obviously, because it'll just jam up the harvester. So we got to go park it for now. Um, and we're going to go take some more soil samples of the area that's been harvested. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up to that. And this takes a while, too. I don't know why it takes so long for this little thing to flash yellow and then finally go green. It literally takes like five seconds each time. Uh, and it's not a very big zone. I mean, it's bigger than, well, it doesn't take a super long time. There you go. I uh, just skipped through all of it. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some generators. Um, so I spent most of my money on generators just now. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Um, but that's okay because, uh, you know, they generate passive income. Now, the solar ones only work during the day. Um, I didn't really think of that, which is not smart of me. Um, so I'm almost done. Here's finishing the corn harvest. Is that done? Finally. Like I said, it literally took me two real-time hours. Um, so uh, that was interesting. And it's going to rain again. Um, so... Uh, now, if you look up in the corner, we have made a decent amount um, off of that. We were down to like, 360, and back up to 400. Um, so we did make a decent amount off of the corn, uh, enough to definitely cover the least cost of the header, uh, um, for sure. Um, and then you know the trucks we're gonna use in the next uh, when we do wheat as well. So um, those were a good investment. Um, now, the one thing. Um, our planter I would really like to go with a no-till all right that's my goal I would like to go no-till now it's not because I'm a, a whatever stuck-up environmental person it's because uh, it, I honestly it, it, it's cheaper um, and I I like how it looks better you know that's kind of weird but I like how it makes the field look when you plant no-till it has it leaves a different texture on the ground anyway uh, and it doesn't affect yield at all, so it's like, um, and it doesn't bring up rocks, which uh, tilling, deep tilling, uh, so plowing and whatnot, brings up rocks from deep down, and that's very, very bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send the soil samples, and this is for precision farming, uh, and it'll bring back the type of soil, um, and it'll bring back the nitrogen and pH content in the soil. And the type of soil is really important because that dictates how much pH and how much nitrogen that soil needs for specific crops um, and uh, how, how many seeds you need. So it'll adjust the planting, the seed amount that the planter puts into the ground. Uh, and that all comes with precision farming, which is a free DLC. Get it if you haven't already. Um, so this is the biggest no-till uh, planter you can get. <laughs> I love the menu sound, the little bing, bing, bing. Um, so this one's the biggest you can get. So on this map, you have, I believe it's like uh, 11 meters wide. Uh, on this map, you have a little filling station right here by the shop uh, where you can fill up on lime, solid fertilizer, seeds. So uh, instead of buying pallets, because pallets get really annoying, uh, I'm just going to use that uh, station to fill up. Um, now, for this first round, uh, I did buy, so I, once I got the planter filled with seeds here and i'm, I'm you know i'm gonna fill it uh, here at the little buying station um i do need a refill right because my field is uh pretty large and this this seed doesn't hold a lot um so i did get a second round of seeds that are just the big bags um and i bought a forklift i believe well i might have leased a forklift i don't know we'll get to that when we get there i'm getting ahead of myself so you pull under here open the hood and then just hit R. Now because this one only holds seeds, that was the only option. It didn't bring up a menu. It just, you know, filled it with seeds. Um, but if you have like a fertilizer spreader that can spread lime and solid fertilizer, it'll tell you lime or solid fertilizer and give you an option. Um, so now I may have jumped the gun on this a little bit because you can't plant in October. And I'm dumb and I should have known that. Um, <laughs> so our, our soil samples came back. Uh, so that's good. Um, the other thing is I have the crop rotation mod added, uh, which basically means your yield is increased or decreased depending on your rotation, uh, like your which kind of crop, which type, I guess, you have. Um, so if you have like a cereal crop like wheat, uh, you need to rotate to a different type of crop to increase your yield. And it has to be a specifically different type of crop. So I've already actually set up um, that crop rotation. Uh, I did that off camera while I was harvesting because harvesting is boring. Um, so we're going to do canola soybeans canola and, and then we had to throw in uh, oat in there 
which is what we're going to plant first. Um, and it's just to get the cycle going because the last uh, harvest was corn, uh, which is not good for canola. Uh, oh, yes, this is the course generator for uh, course play, which course play is an amazing mod. Um, now, uh, it allows you to do a ton of stuff. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do on it is do some headlands because we're right up against the uh, world border and it's stupidly annoying. Sometimes AIs will hit that world border and they will just screw themselves up. So um, if you make headlands, it does turns uh, and then it'll start doing up and down. Uh, it'll do like a couple loops around the outside and then it'll do up and down, which basically removes the problem of running into the world border and running into equipment you have parked on the side of the field. So uh, really useful. And then, yeah, I, I was like, oh, I can't plant in October. I'm stupid. So um, <laughs> there you go. Oat has to be planted in March. So I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, farmhouse that I can sleep in. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and plant this field right here. And you set him from the first waypoint, and he just goes. Um, and like I said, I like the texture that is created uh, when you do no-till. It looks better. Look at that texture. Beautiful. Uh, it looks more realistic than the just black dirt that you get from the other one. Uh, I also have the dust add-on. Um, that is the end of the video. Uh, we are planting our oats, and we will come back uh, next year, next in-game year, uh, and we will do our oat harvest and plant our next one, and maybe, if you guys want, we'll do some animal stuff. Uh, so thanks for watching, and here is some corn harvest without commentary.